3 AW afternoon. It's 22 past 12. When has life sort of got in the way of something that you might have wanted to do, but you've had to kind of put it off for maybe years, maybe even decades? 9690693. Maybe it was travel, maybe it was a career change, maybe it was just something, a hobby you wanted to take up, uh, but you were just too busy. Christine Manetta loved singing when she was a girl was told not to pursue a career and instead settle down and focus on university. Uh, since becoming a single parent, she asked herself a simple question that got her back on stage. Christine, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dennis. What How was, are you? I'm good. What was the question? <laughs> Who is me? Right. And what was the answer? <laughs> um, I actually took myself back to being 18 years of age and rethought the dreams that I had at that point and decided that that's who I was, the person who had those dreams and decided to follow the most special one of all. And this, yeah. this was 30 years on? It was quite a long time, yes, maybe even longer. Uh, it was 1980 when I stopped singing and then started again in about 2009. So, yeah, long uh, time. Did you just, when you say stopped singing, did, did you not sing along with records or sing in the car or perhaps sometimes sit down with a guitar or piano or whatever and, and sing? Or did you just sort of, it just disappeared out of your world? Sing along in the car, I did, and, and just sort of everyday sort of things. I didn't have a guitar. I didn't pursue music in any way. I was too busy studying um, at university, so that sort of was the focus at the time. What did you become from university? <laughs> I ended up um, graduating with a, uh, with a major in physics and applied maths. So <laughs> This is top end. <laughs> top end, yes, and then ended up um, doing a debate and becoming a physics maths secondary teacher. Did you enjoy that? It was, it, was, it was also a love that I had. I loved maths and I loved physics. So I was still doing a love, but I wish I had pursued both. You, um, you wouldn't have loved having me in your class because they're two things that I was hopeless at. <laughs> I'm sure I would have helped you along a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're singing... So you, you sort of had a long, hard look at yourself and went, OK, I want to, I've want always wanted to sing and I'm going to sing. Mm. What did you do about it from there? Well, um, I decided to join a choir. I, I joined a choir and it was a program where um, women can join up and form this little group and, and there was performance at the end of it. It was a choir run by um, Wendy Stapleton. Oh, yes, uh, you've heard the about them. Under the name of Singlet. So... That's where I started. She was such an inspiration to me and encouraged me so much. She was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I've heard, so, I've heard terrific things about that choir. Yes, yeah, so that's where I started. And then um, her husband, Paul Norton, also rang, a, rang um, a program called Weekend Warriors where you get to play in a band for the first time in your life. So I then moved on to that program and sang on stage in front of a band for the first time in my life in 2011. Do you know, do you know what was that like? <laughs> I was holding the microphone, but it wasn't keeping still. It was shaking with my hand, but it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. It you, was like living the dream. Do you know, yeah. you're, you're probably the first person I've uh, ever spoken to who who has actually taken that advice, get a career behind you before you try and to pursue music or acting or whatever. Well, that was that was the idea. I, I actually don't think it was even get the career behind you. It was more, no, that's not really your thing. It, that was a bit of the decision that was made on my behalf. Um, and, you know, I loved maths and physics, and so that's the journey I took. The, and the music that you love to perform now, what, what style is it? Well, I, I have sort of discovered that I'm a jazz and blues singer. Um, it, it sits so naturally within my ear and just the music itself is just wonderful and I love it. And so that's the music that I do with a bit of soul music as well. Is the microphone yeah. still shaking eight years on or have you um, <laughs> got, got, got control of the nerves? No, I've got control of the nerves. Um, I've done so many performances and it's only when you keep doing the performances that 
that you know the nerves are always there they have to be but you you, you learn not to shake <laughs> not too much anyway <laughs> and as a teacher you'd know how to deal with anyone who's talking in the audience oh well that the teaching part of it has been um actually a part that i use in my shows because in terms of talking um public speaking mm. that that i had down pat so with the shows that I do, I also do a, uh, a monologue in between the songs and give a little bit of the history of who wrote the songs or what was quite famous about it. So there's always information as well as the music coming across. It must be the teacher bit. <laughs> well, we saw your story in one of the leader papers and you, you do have yes. a show coming up at Hume Blues Club. I do. It's on the 12th of September um, and it's... Uh, my part in the show is at about 8 o'clock and I'll be on stage for about an hour or just over an hour. Um, it's a club that's local to me and it's run by volunteers and it's a wonderful place, very friendly. And for anyone that wants to maybe have a little bit of a turn or get up and maybe sing a song or maybe only know a few chords on a guitar but a bit reluctant, it is such a welcoming place. And there are quite experienced musicians there who who help people along in that journey. That sounds terrific. Hume Blues Club on September 12 at 8 p.m. Entry is free. Just go to Hume Blues. Excuse me, Hume Blues Club dot com. Congratulations to you, Christine. You're following your dream. Well done. Thank you so much, Dennis, and thank you for your time this afternoon. Lovely to chat.